Okay, so boom, the scene starts off with Poe pulling up right before Tai Lung could finish sending Shifu to see a Michael Jackson concert. Poe over there breathing hard as hell like he just ran a 10k marathon. Tai Lung confused as to why this obese Teletubby is speaking to him, ask who he is. And after 17 more deep breaths, he tells him he's the Dragon Warrior. Tai Lung's obviously in disbelief, so he automatically starts hitting him with them fat jokes. You're the Dragon Warrior, ain't no way. What are you gonna do? You gonna sit on me? Huh? You gonna eat me? You worried about the wrong lung, my boy. Look how hard you're breathing. See a doctor. And I know them arteries clogged as hell. A heart attack's gonna take you out before I do. After verbally violating him, Poe pulls out the dragon scroll. Tai Lung sees the scroll and immediately gets busy by giving Poe a stiff jab in his face, sending Poe flying, leaving him with the scroll. Bro, look at the excitement on this nigga's face. Have some composure, nigga. Damn. Looking like a dude who just secured his first baddie. Settle down. Act like you have been here before. But then again, he was chained up in that prison like Kratos for years, so I'd probably be geek too. This moment of joy is very short-lived though, because Poe bounces off a pole and body checks Tai Lung with all 952 pounds of panda fat. Poe really out here in his bubble soccer bag. I don't care how big Poe is, he's not trying to see me on the field. Tai Lung stunned that Barney ate his punch and countered it with ease, decides to charge at him. Poe don't really want the smoke, so he begins to turn around, but of course with his gigantic build, it would take two business days to fully rotate, so Tai Lung tackles him before he could even fully turn around. Poe grabs a scroll, but then Tai Lung grabs Poe and puts his knee in his guts, bouncing Poe off the roof and into a tree, causing it to bend back, then slap Tai Lung in the face as soon as he gets off of it. Bro, look how he had that tree bending. You know how big you gotta be to bend a tree like that with that thick ass trunk? That tree was fighting for his life. Tai Lung charges at Poe again and hits him with a rude kick to his jaw, sending him bouncing off some stairs again. Tai Lung then pounces on Poe in an attempt to grab the scroll, but Poe out here holding on to it like it's the last Twinkie in the box. So Tai Lung kicks the brain cells out of Poe's skull. Not that he had that many to begin with, cause let's face it, pandas are dummies. Bro, look how far his head went back. Almost took that boy's head off. Even after that CTE causing kick, Poe still has his hands on the scroll. Now they both out here tumbling down the stairs and at first, Tai Lung was landing some clean shots on Poe. Look at him, hit him so hard his jaw almost flew off his body, mouth open wide as hell. But Poe pulls that Uno reverse card and starts starts bouncing all three tons of his body weight on Tai Lung. This man Poe stepped on him, put his armpit in his face, and gave him a mouthful of raw booty meat. A complete and utter violation. Actually, let me stop. It really depends on who's performing this combo. Because if we replace Poe with Rihanna, I'd pay top dollar to be the first crash dummy in line. No questions asked. After that long ass fall, the scroll ends up getting loose. So Tai Lung rushes towards it. But Poe uses the noodles from the pot he knocked over to lasso the scroll in. Bro, that noodle was long as hell. Where they make those at? That junk stretched like seven feet in the air. Poe ends up bouncing the Dragon Warrior scroll off his head, sending it flying in the other direction. So Tai Lung tries to lunge after it, but this nigga Poe grabs his feet and sits him down in a cart, which somehow sends him flying in the direction of the scroll. Mm, I don't know about this one, Chief. The physics on this one not really working. In what world is Tai Lung's weight enough to fling Poe in the air? In what world is two Tai Lungs able to flip Poe in the air? In what world is nine Tai Lung's enough to flip. And hold on, is this cart made of vibranium? Cause there's really only two logical options here. They land on the cart and it immediately disintegrates under the earth shattering weight Poe has, or... Nah, that's the only option to be honest. While in orbit, Poe continues to do more obese activities by slurping up the 7 foot noodle in 2 seconds flat. Where are our priorities? You know what? I think I'm approaching the cap on the amount of fat jokes I can make, so I'm gonna let this slide. Poe crashes into the trees and comes out on some bamboo stilts. He sees that Tai Lung's getting close to the scroll, so he kicks a wok pan in Tai Lung's face, leaving an imprint. While Tai Lung over there is still kissing the wok pan, Poe throws a wok pan over the scroll and shuffles it to confuse Tai Long. This scamming ass game, bro. If you ever get sucked into one of these street games, be prepared to be swindled out of your hard-earned breach. Let me even put you onto some game. They always let you win the first two or three. Then, once you feel confident, they offer to put some money on the line. You just hit two in a row. It's no brainer to accept the offer, right? Wrong. The moment you say yes to putting money on the line, these niggas turn into Doctor Strange, shuffling shit so fast they damn near bending the fabrics of reality. No matter what you choose, the ball will not be there. Shit, they basically make it to where the 
the ball never existed in the first place. Then they have the audacity to ask me if I want to bet again after they just robbed me in broad daylight? Alright, bet. Let's run it back. Let's go. Tai Lung not with the game, so he knocks over all the walk pots revealing the scroll. Well, Po starts mixing him up with his stilts, and I'm not even gonna lie, this is kind of impressive. Not what Po's doing, the sturdiness of that bamboo. I'm playing Po really doing his thing on them stilts. Look how effortlessly he tap dancing. Damn near popped his shoulder out his socket. I gotta give Po props here, because I've tried stilts, and let's just say it went nowhere close to as smooth as this. Tai Lung tired of getting mixed with the stilts, so he slaps them away only for Po to belly flop on his head. Tai Lung kicks Po off of him, sending him flying into a cart of fireworks. He uses the firework cart to launch him towards the scroll, because let's be real here, he wasn't gonna make it on foot. Unless there was an all-you-can-eat buffet on the other side, then he would've turned into Usain Bolt. Po crashes into a building, causing the scroll to get stuck at the top. Now, I know I've been hitting my boy with a lot of fat jokes, all vid, but for this next scene, I need to preface that this is no joke. Po sees that the scroll is stuck all the way at the top of the building, right? So to motivate him to get the scroll, this walrus, imagine it's a cookie. Crazy thing is though, it worked, cause he immediately starts scaling that building like he's been doing parkour for seven years. Out here looking like Miles Morales running from the whole spider society, he not messing around. But you know what, I applaud the directors for this, because let's be honest here. This makes perfect sense. He wouldn't imagine it as a piece of celery the same way we wouldn't see Kevin Durant doing a commercial for do-rags and brushes. It's just not on brand. To prevent Poe from getting the scroll, he kicks the house causing it to crumble, which also sends the scroll flying again. Nah, this too much. Even for a Superman built nigga as myself, I would've let Tai Lung take the scroll. It's honestly not that deep. And it's not gonna fix the daddy issues he got with Shifu anyways. He don't love you, little bro. Move on. While trying to get the scroll, Poe ends up accidentally beaming pieces of the roof at Tai Lung's face. Po gets the scroll, but Tai Lung hits him with a 360 heel kick, sending Po into the ground. Then to finish him off, he hits him with this double fist Superman punch, causing a level 19 earthquake. After all the dust settles, we see Po laid out on the ground as Tai Lung walks over to the scroll, and that's when I knew it was GG's. After all that feening, Tai Lung finally gets his hands on the scroll, just to open it and find out that nothing is in it. What the... No, 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 this can't be. Nigga, did you eat the words? I didn't get it either. The scroll just shows you a reflection of yourself. That's why you're seeing straight pussy. Tai Lung has definitely reached his boiling point now, so he immediately drops the scroll and punches Po right in his chest. But with Po's layers of fat, Tai Lung's punches just felt like tickles. Peep the sound his punches make after his fist bounce off Po's gut. Out here sounding like a bongo drum. Tai Lung really getting pissed off now, so he hits Po with another double fist combo. But Po counters by absorbing the blow and sending it right back to Tai Lung. Po out here looking like one of them card dealership inflatables. This man's fighting bag is so unorthodox, but hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Tai Lung rushes back in to try and do some more damage, but Po blocking and weaving everything with ease. Keep this weed weed block, then hits Tai Lung with that toe pressure 9000. Tai Lung still not landing a single punch, and to make things worse, this man Po walks up to him and slaps the taste out of his mouth. No finesse, no fancy karate move, just a straight pimp slap. Tai Lung tries to counter with a kick, but Po catches is it? Slams him to the ground, then bounces off his dome. Po then grabs his tail and starts treating him like a paddle ball. He headbutts him, kicks him, then slams him. Now Po just out here manhandling him, straight whipping him around like Hulk did Loki. And to make things worse, he makes Tai Lung bite his own tail. I'm not gonna lie, this some S tier ninja skill right here. You know you're nice when you're using your opponent's own body to inflict pain. He bit that tail so hard he started whining like a kitty. And to top off his legendary combo run, he turns into an IG thought and hits Tai Lung with the booty bounce of death, sending him tumbling into a house. Tai Lung still not done yet, so he charges back in for some more work, but Po uses his gut to launch him into the sky just to get a sneak peek of his maker, but he automatically gets denied entry at the gate, sending him spiraling back into the ground. Look at the imprint he made in the ground, my boy fell so hard he discovered new dinosaur fossils. Tai Lung crawls out the hole, but it's clear that CTE already got him. He out there his words stumbling around like my drunk uncles at Thanksgiving. 
He's cooked. Tai Lung tries to strike Poe one last time, but Poe ready to wrap this up. It's a Sunday, so KFC closes early, and he's not missing that two-piece combo for nothing. He grabs Tai Lung's finger and ups his pinky, ready to hit Tai Lung with that wooshy finger. Tai Lung shook now, so he's attempting to take back everything he said. Hey, bro, chill, 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 chill. I was just joking. You probably couldn't beat Zion in a gumbo eating competition, and you probably can't see your feet when you look down. Yeah, I'm not hearing none of that, little man. Your fate has been sealed. Poe then proceeds to hit Tai Lung with that skadoosh, and the aura from that saucy move spreads throughout the whole town. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, pause. Rewind. Is that Tigris? I was wondering where the Furious Fraud Squad was this whole time. Why are you not in the field? You really out here ducking the smoke cause Tai Lung had your whole squad paralyzed? Yeah, you never beating them washed allegations. Get the hell off my screen. Uh, I don't really wanna know. Shorty telling me her name. I don't really wanna know.